Well, why is self-perfected the only group that will prevent World War III? This is a really important thing for those who can see this message to actually realize this. Self-perfected is a group, it's a network of other networks. Self-perfected is a combination of myself and others that I've known for a while now who are really focused on making monumental, fundamental impact in the world. Not just hanging out, not just trying to do business deals, things like that. Self-perfected and self-perfection in itself is a concept that one eventually will realize is the way to be. And within this group, we have different members from all around the world, from different walks of life. Some people are already extremely successful, some people just joining, just figuring out their role and their position within the world. Now, I'm not sure how in depth I want to go into this, but when you look at history, and when you look at the way things go and have gone in the past, there are different cycles within the world and there are different cycles within the economy. And at a certain point in time, big cataclysmic events will happen. Now, from what I see and from the people that I've spoke, to, spoke with, the future of the world is not guaranteed to be very pretty. It's actually, everything's collapsing in on itself right now. And there's a lot of reasons for this. Again, I'm not gonna go into this in this video here. You can join Self Perfected or you can investigate the other groups that I talk about to, to see that for yourself. I'm not asking you to believe anything. I'm just sharing this for those of you who understand the bigger picture of what's going on here or wanna be part of it so that you can join us, you can connect with us. So Self Perfected is a group that we started about six months ago officially and it has a lot of training and a lot of tools to support people within this concept of self-perfection. There's a lot of talk about self-development and self-improvement, which is utter BS. Self-development and self-improvement doesn't imply anything. There's no real guarantee that you're actually gonna become a better person. You probably will feel good, you'll probably feel motivated for a little bit, but it's not a lasting change as who you fundamentally are. That's what self-perfection is is about who you are is a force of nature itself. So you can work to become as faultless as possible. A lot of people tell me, how could you ever be perfect? Being perfect is impossible. Only Jesus can be perfect. Only God is perfect. Humans can't be perfect. You can't change human nature. Blah, 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 blah. All these excuses, not realizing that, yes, humans are screwed up. I'm not saying we're already perfect, but I'm saying, it is our duty and our obligation as humans who have been given this gift of life to actually move forward and work to self-honestly perfect ourselves. Because we look at the world and we see all these issues, systemic problems, injustice, inequality, wars, unnecessary suffering. It's all out there. And I've been watching this for a very long time and I'm sick of it, so I'm doing something about it. Through this process, it led me to different groups like Global Information Network, Technotutor, Destiny, Self Perfected. And these groups, when I actually got to meet the people in them, not what the articles online say, not what other people who just want to talk about it without actually investigating and doing it for themselves, when I actually met the people who are dedicated to this where it comes through and what they do, what they say, how they live their lives, what they do when the camera's not on, who are they when no one else is watching, what principles do they live by? These are people who are the real deal. That's what self-perfection is about, is that all the time, and yes, you're gonna fail, yes, you're gonna trip up, yes, you're gonna fall on your face, but that's why we have a group, because for those of you who can see this, this is common sense, you, who you are, at your core and what you're accepting and allowing within yourself, you're gonna accept and allow within the world. If you're accepting and allowing yourself to be dishonest, you're gonna allow that in the world. If you're gonna accept and allow the belief, the lie, look at the word lie is right in the middle of belief. If you're gonna accept the lie that human nature can't actually change and that you're just here to experience life and then you go on to heaven or something like that, wake up. You have one life here. We have one opportunity 
and the world as it's currently set up is not best. I've made a lot of videos on this and I've got a lot of really cool feedback. Mostly just in private messages. I don't know why people aren't commenting more on this. You reach out to me one on one saying you're watching the videos. For whatever reason, I'd, I'd much rather have you reach out than nothing. But I know that you see this. I know that you see that the world is screwed. But that's just a reflection of us because we've screwed ourselves. So self perfection is a process of releasing the stuff that we've held on to. It's looking at the past. It's not pretending like the past isn't there. It's looking at it. It's seeing the gift within it, but also all the stuff that we've accepted and allowed that's not actually serving us. And then the next pillar of self perfection is actually creating the change and living the change every day. Not just on Monday through Friday, not just nine to five, not just on the weekend when you're with your friends and it's all fun because you're like drinking and having fun or whatever, you, whatever you're doing. Not just when you're out in nature having fun or with your kids or grandkids or whatever. It's all the time. When you're stuck in traffic, when you're pissed off, when you're... <laughs> when you're in an argument with someone, when you're commenting on someone's Facebook post, whatever it is, it's all the time is an opportunity because you're the one who decides. Are you going to choose perfection or are you going to accept imperfection? Now perfection is different than perfectionism. Perfectionism is your ego screwing with you. <laughs> perfectionism is just some ideal in your mind where your mind is messing with you. But perfection is the process of, like I said, it's looking at your past. It's actually living the change so that it's real and physical and tangible. Other people could actually say, yes, I've seen you change. Yes, I notice you don't react. Yes, I notice that you're taking more responsibility. I see the way in which you talk and you walk and you actually walk the talk. That's perfection, is when it's verifiable by another person. And then the third pillar of self-perfection and why I'm making this video here specifically is because self-perfection is about creating and living as the best expression of yourself. And I'm sure you all have heard the word expression and all that stuff and it sounds so cliche, but actually look up the definition of express, expression. Understand what that word really means. Express. EX means out. It's like outward. And then press is like pressing. So you're pressing outward what's inside you. And what's inside you, yes, there's a lot of screwed up stuff. Even still within myself, I have a lot of stuff I'm working through. But I've been doing this journey for enough time. I've had enough verifiable results. And I trust myself that that's what we've created self-perfected, the group. Because there's other people who realize, wow. I have life within me. I'm actually so much more powerful than I was ever taught in school, than my parents ever taught me. And when I take responsibility and I stand in principle and I stand by what I know is actually best, when you stand as that, no matter what happens, that is now you learning how to create and walk as the best expression of yourself. Then you get to start to realize something really cool. There's this principle of equality and oneness. Equality meaning we are all equal. We're all equally valuable as humans. No one's better because of whatever reason your mind thinks you're better or you're worse. No one's better than you, no one's worse than you. We're equal. And then oneness meaning we're all literally one. We're made out of the same molecules, the same substance. And yes, you're your unique individual, I'm my unique individual. I can't read your mind. I don't know exactly what it's like to be you specifically, but I know enough and I trust myself enough that we can communicate and connect. Now, how does this relate to the collapse of the world and how we're headed toward what I would say would be World War III? We are already on track for that, is self-perfected. And the other networks that have come together within self-perfected, the different people in the group, when you really look at the core people in the group, the people who show up on the calls, the people who are very engaged within it, talk to them. Ask them the deeper questions because they really know what they're doing. And the work that we're doing has a long-term vision to it. It's a 100, 200 year vision to it. It's not, you, you don't change the world by some quick overnight fix or some viral video or something like that. You change the world 
to first looking at yourself, realize all the BS that you're accepting and allowing, and then you do that self-perfection for yourself. But at a certain point, you start accumulating responsibility. And what's funny, the more responsibility you accumulate, the more money you make. And the more enjoyment you have, the more you actually cherish and recognize how precious every single moment of your life is to maybe the last. Some crazy shit can happen and the world may drastically change for the worse, most likely, in the next day. So let's really take responsibility here and now for today. And then work to direct everything in your life to what's best for all. And is war best for all? Hell no. You know that. But you have to understand that there's a war going on inside each of us. World War III has already started within each of us. Have you ever had, I like to call it back chat, it's the best word for it that I've found, but where you battle yourself in your mind and you say, yeah, I want to do it. Oh, you can't do it. Yeah, I want to do it. Eh, I don't know. Who am I to do this? Like that inner dialogue, that inner fight. That's the war. You can actually win that war once and for all. It's a process. That's why we created Self Perfected. So I'm making this video for those of you who can see this because not everyone's able to handle this right now. Not everyone wants to take their responsibility for whatever reason, but we're looking for the 1% who want to become the 1% of the 1%. And then over time, you'll understand where you fit into this larger system so that we can get into different positions within the world, such as politics, such as um, rewriting the laws, Different people want to get into be influential within Hollywood and different, um, like, um, you know, the whole celebrity world because it requires different people who are united in principle, like the principle of self perfection, and different principles, like the principle of what's best for all, realizing equality and oneness, and things like that. So then we can all get into different positions. So now, next time, let's say five, ten years from now, you tune on the TV and you're watching, oh, newest update from Hollywood or, you know, whatever the hell they show on TV. Where now you realize, wait, that's a person that actually stands for something. That's a person of integrity. For maybe the first time ever in that industry. Now we start to change media. We start to get into positions within the economy and business and changing the education system. Empowering the youth and the kids who are about to inherit this world that's screwed up because of COVID. Because of the changing economy. Because of automation. I haven't even gotten to that yet. There's about to be a lot of people. You see the riots happening now? It's going to get a lot worse before it gets better. So what are our kids going to think? Think about the kids right now that are born and they think that they need to wear a mask in their home. And their parents are deathly afraid of coronavirus. I'm not saying that coronavirus is not dangerous or deadly. But I'm saying look at the amount of fear that's being cultivated and widespread by the mass media. And how everything gets politicized and over-sensationalized. That is the war in front of us. Now it's on you. Are you going to just keep choosing, oh, well, that's out there, that's not me. Or are you going to take responsibility and join us in walking this process of self-perfection? Because at a certain point you realize it's not just yourself, it's actually the whole world. And then we can perfect the entire world, make it a world that's actually best for all. So for the first time in your entire life, you can experience true happiness. Because right now, how can you be happy knowing 20,000 kids a day die? How can you be happy knowing that you could lose your job tomorrow? Someone could break into your home because not everyone has enough. There's a lot of suffering in the world and we're currently coping with it in a very ineffective way. But there are people out there, just know from my videos, you'll see me doing this time and time and time again for the rest of my life until we have a world that's best for all. And then I'm still going to be making videos, just going to be a lot different. So that's what we're about with self-perfected and that's why we are the only group that is going to prevent World War III from happening because World War III is already underway and it's on us to each take responsibility for ourselves, for our communities, and for the world so that we can actually change it and direct it to a world that's actually best for all. All right, thanks for watching. Share this. If you got something out of this, share this with people.